There are times where manual focus is better than autofocus. There are just some situations where autofocus isn't gonna cut it, even with the technological advances that we've been having in autofocus lately. So in this video, I wanted to walk you through some of the manual focus aids, manual focus assistance found in Fujifilm cameras so that you're less intimidated by manual focus. I know it can be intimidating, but using all of these tools found in Fujifilm cameras, there's no reason why you can't use manual focus with the same type of precision and, okay, not quite speed as autofocus, but you'll definitely get faster, more accurate results with an understanding of these manual focus tools. And this video is not going to go too in depth into all of these modes. It's more of an introduction, just in case you didn't know about any of these. My Fujifilm Camera Fundamentals course, which is linked in the description, does go into more detail about how and when to use these modes. And the first one I wanna talk about is the back autofocus button. If you are in manual focus, giving it your best shot, and you're just getting frustrated, you can use the back autofocus button on your camera to command autofocus without ever leaving manual focus. The button is labeled differently on all cameras. It's either AFL, AEL, AFL, or AF on. But in the default setup, pressing this button will command autofocus while you are in manual focus. If you've ever reprogrammed any of your buttons, you want to make sure that this is set to either AF lock or AF on. The next tool is focus check or focus zoom. And this is going to zoom in on your image wherever that manual focus box is so that you can more accurately, more clearly see what you're focusing on. You can change the size of that box with the command dial and move it around the screen with the joystick. And you can get to focus check in two ways, either automatically or manually. To have your camera do this automatically, whenever you rotate the manual focus ring, it will automatically zoom in on your manual focus box. To do this, you'll want to enable focus check in your AF MF settings menu. I find this a little annoying that it automatically does this every time I move my manual focus ring. So I have this set up manually, where now whenever I want to do it, I'm in control, I can zoom in. And there are a few different ways of setting this up, depending on your camera. If your camera has a rear command dial that you can push in, the default setup is when you push in on that rear command dial, it will zoom in and then rotate it to change the zoom and move it around the screen. In newer cameras without a rear command dial like that, like the XS10 and the XE4, you can set your joystick to do this for you. If you go into your button dial setting and go to your focus lever setting push option, you can set that to zoom. And then you just push that joystick to zoom in. Or you can also do this with your touch screen by double tapping on the screen. If you go into your button dial setting and then touch screen setting, if you turn on the double tap setting, it will zoom in on that point when you double tap on the screen. One of the primary manual focus assistants is called manual focus assist. If you go into your AF MF setting menu and MF assist, you'll see a few different options here depending on your camera. And the first one is standard. This is just the image, no special overlays or anything, just as we saw in the last example. Next, you'll see digital split image, which is reminiscent of the focusing prisms found in traditional analog cameras. The image is cut into slices, and when the image is out of focus, those slices will not align with one another. And this makes it very easy to quickly see when an image is obviously out of focus. As you bring the image back into focus, now those images will start to align with one another. You can set either a color digital split image or a monochrome split image, I prefer the monochrome just because it's easier to see. You can also use focus check with digital split image to zoom in on your focus point. Most of the newer cameras also have an additional tool called the digital micro prism. It's like digital split image, but cut up into uh, several different small areas. This one's a little bit harder to use, but it certainly does have its utility 
Much like digital split image, when the image is out of focus, you'll see all of these squares that are very obvious and misaligned with one another. And as you bring the image back into focus, now those squares will just kind of start to disappear wherever the image is in focus. You also have focus peak highlight, which will outline areas that are in focus in a bright color. And depending on your camera, there are different colors available. You just choose the color that contrasts the best against your subject. So if your subject is red, I probably wouldn't choose red as the color, maybe blue because blue is a contrast against red. You'll also see different sensitivity levels, low and high. High is going to be a lot easier to see. The lines are going to be much bolder, but they may outline areas that are not in totally precise focus, whereas low is going to be much harder to see, but only outline those areas that are truly in perfect focus. I just use high because it's easier to see and I don't really pixel peep all that much. So my eyes perceive that those areas are in focus. On cameras that do have that rear command dial that you can push in, you can hold that rear command dial while you're in manual focus to cycle through all of these modes. Some cameras like the X-H1, I'm assuming the upcoming X-H2, the X-T2, X-T3, X-T4, also have what's called a dual display. When you are looking through the EVF or at your LCD and you press the display back button to cycle through your displays while in manual focus mode, one of those displays is the dual display. You'll see two windows here, a large window on the left side and a small window on the right side. One of those windows will display your focus zoom, a zoomed in focus area. And the other window will display the entire frame that you can use to recompose. So use one of those frames for your composition and use the other frame for your manual focus. And you can toggle which one of those windows displays your whole composition or displays your focus check in the screen setup menu under dual display setting. In here, just select which one of those windows you want to have your magnification displayed in. You can also move that focus area around with a joystick and use any of the manual focus assistance with dual display. So digital split image, focus peak highlight, and so on. And then the last one that I wanna talk about for your rangefinder style cameras like the X-Pro and the X100 series is the electronic rangefinder. If you're using the optical viewfinder, so just looking through the glass on the camera, you can also have your focus check area displayed in a small window on the bottom right corner of the screen. To turn this on and off, just toggle the front viewfinder selector on the front of the camera. This works much like the dual display where you can move that magnified area around with your joystick and also use any of the manual focus assists in that little rangefinder window. So that should give you a basic understanding of the manual focus tools found in Fujifilm cameras. You do need to practice. You don't want to be fumbling around with these, trying them out for the first time when it really matters. So put your focus mode in manual focus, go out there with your camera and just practice all these, try them out so that when it does matter and autofocus is not working, you can quickly switch to manual focus and make sure that your photograph is sharp. For more photography tips like this, Please subscribe and I will see you on the next video.